Well, hello, my Echo Caster friends. It is I, Echo Craft, once again. And as you can see on my screen, I have the new Sunido Tempo Pad P16, which Sunido was so kindly to send to me. They wanted me to check it out. I'm going to check it out. I actually kind of like this. This is kind of cool. Um, and I did an unboxing video. And without further ado, here we go. Well, okay, here we go. So this, like I said earlier, this is a, um, basically a, zoom in a little bit here. This is a, uh, another device that uh, a Sunido uh, sent me, a Sunido, I think it's Sunido. Um, I already did the 64 pad version of it. Uh, they sent me this one. This is a 16 pad version, I believe. Um, so we're going to do an unboxing right here. My, I need to change the blade in my knife, but that's beside the point. Um, so yeah, so here we are. Um, I really like when companies send me stuff. Um, sometimes, uh, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's put this over here. And here it is, Sunido. Okay. Um, and it's interesting because... You know, I get to keep this stuff and use it. And this one here, oh God. Shelf life is like a Twinkie, I guess, when they wrap this stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! Those of you who don't know what a Twinkie is, uh, let's zoom in a little bit more. Here we go. Um, get my knife. A Twinkie is something that is an American snack that we used to eat when we were kids. I think they still make Twinkies. But uh, if you look at the shelf life of a Twinkie, it literally is, um, I think, 50 years or something like that. <laughs> and it's a vanilla cake with uh, frosting inside. So here it is. So here's the, this is the Sunido Temple Pad P16. Yeah. This looks actually really cool. Um, I like the fact that it's got transport controls on it. Um, I know the other one did too, but you had to kind of program it. So uh, I, I have to hand it to a Sunido, a Sunido. I, I can't pronounce their name correctly all the time. I don't know why, but I have to hand it to them because their boxing, their packaging is awesome. Uh, so they really do pack some nice stuff. And I love the purple. Purple's like one of my favorite colors. Unleash your voice, express your passion. Woo! Oh, wow. Oh, this comes with a little neoprene bag as well. These guys are great. Grab your idea and never let it go. Very cool. And we have another USB-A to USB-C cable. And another... This is great that they do this, man. Uh, USB-C, a uh, USB-A to C converter. And what's really cool is the um, 3.5 millimeter to MIDI cable, which is phenomenal that they actually give you that. I think other companies like Korg and Roland should actually uh, supply those as well. Um, and I think it's really cool. This guy's got some weight to it. Here's the manual. And voila. This is actually made really nice. This one's got an on-off button. MIDI out. Uh, if you can see it here. Uh, focus in on it there. So we've got uh, USB-C. We've got DC 9 volt. We've got MIDI out. We've got a power button. The paths feel really nice. And so don't the knobs. This is actually kind of nice. I love the weight of it too. It's got a nice rubber back to it. So yeah, so uh, this is the Sunido Temple Pad P16. I'll be doing a review on that. We're gonna plug it in. Might plug it into some, um, some analog gear this time instead of uh, using the DAW. We'll see what happens. 
All right. Sonito. Good stuff. I used to say good stuff cheap. Shouldn't say that, I guess. That's not very nice, but whatever. Okay, so here we go.
okay, there you have it. So I haven't figured out the software yet. I have to read the manual. I just wanted to do a quick demo of it to show you that it is pretty cool. I was able to control um, some of the features I uh, was using, uh, well, so let me just put it this way. I was using uh, a bunch of different synthesizers, software synthesizers. I haven't hooked it up to my actual hardware yet, um, but I was doing a bunch of different uh, software synths. Uh, I did the Behringer um, uh, synthesizer, the Vintage Synth. I did the Cherry Audio uh, synthesizer, um, uh, the... I think it was the uh, Sim, uh, which is the Oberheim. Uh, I did some drum stuff on it. Um, I haven't figured out the software. I do have to read the manual. I, I just, you know, these kinds of things aren't really in my wheelhouse, um, but I like the fact that it does have pads. It's fun to play. I was able to use the knobs to actually control the volumes and stuff through Logic, through my DAW, which I thought was pretty cool. I still haven't figured out how to make the transport controls work yet. Um, but again, I have to read the manual. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you, Sinaido, uh, for sending this to me um, and allowing me to demo it. I will probably do another demo. I don't know. Uh, again, it's not in my wheelhouse, this kind of stuff. Some people will be like, oh, poo-poo, Echo Craft, because, you know, you should learn how to use this stuff. I'm not a big uh, pads kind of guy when it comes to these kinds of pads. Never have been. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. And again, I, I appreciate Sonido for sending this to me. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you like what I do, please subscribe. If you don't, that's fine. You know, uh, tonight I will be doing a, uh, a podcast uh, on Samurai's channel, we do this Synth Fighter podcast. We're going to be talking about the new Korg Muse, which looks really good. Um, and also going to be doing uh, uh, some little, little, we're going to be chatting about the Labyrinth, um, which is very interesting. Um, and I know I've poo-pooed it and said things about it that I probably shouldn't have, but I don't really care. Um, I hope Moog sends me one. Um I did send them a letter because I just want to, I want to experience it for myself. I'm not going to buy one. Uh, there's no way I'm buying that. But again, please subscribe, uh, like my channel. Um, I'll put the description down in the uh, below uh, to check out the Sonido, Sonido yourself. Uh, the, remember, it's the Sonido Tempo Pad P16. So yeah, so subscribe to the channel, like if you want, uh, leave some comments, whatever. And like I always say, stay frosty, stay creative, and peace out.